All right. All right. I believe it's time. I have waited long enough. Now I will finally get to play this game again. I've had to wait like two days or so before getting back into it, but we're here. We're ready. Are you all ready? Are you ready to, to rage in the loop? Because I am, certainly. I am the warm. This is the raging loop. And I'm excited. I'm... Things happened last time. Last time, Haruaki went for the kill shot. He sprung the trap, so to speak. He threw out the info he had on Takumi and Mochi. And we were able to take Mochi down. Um, certainly, I'd say we're in a pretty crazy point in the story at this point. I am, uh, as the kids would say, somewhat hype, I believe. Uh, but before we move on from that, I believe it would be remiss of me if I did not talk about something very important <clears throat> before moving on. We have to talk about Mamiya. We, we really do. It has been brought to my attention that I have been misunderstanding some things regarding her <clears throat> and her situation. Last time, there was the instance where Takumi and I think Kanzo and a few of the other characters were all sort of saying, well, well, Mamiya was the wolf then. You know, she had to be a wolf. It was all this sort of stuff going on. And, you know, she faked being the snake. And that's just, so she's a wolf. And I kept thinking, well, isn't she the badger, though? And, you know, all that sort of stuff. I just, I really was kind of cementing my stance on that. But I have to, I have to thank uh, Lise and Amber for kind of letting me know that that might not be correct. Or, you know, my assumptions may not have been, you know, well thought out. So, just to explain a bit, I originally thought Mamiya was the badger for a few reasons. One... Uh, it, it, it basically the whole badger conversation became relevant because uh, it was pretty close after when Haruaki actually explained the concept to all the villagers. So um, it was right, it was fresh in my head right around, right around when it was going to be relevant or when it seemed to be relevant to me. And then we had Mamiya changing her behavior from the previous day. And it was, you know, the second day, I believe. And that's when, supposedly, we're, at least we're guessing when the badger gets into play. And um, the third reason, I guess, that I thought Mommy was the badger was because um, I kind of doubted that the wolves would want to use one of their own for such a risky play. That play being... Um, Mamiya claimed she was the she was a snake, and the goal there was to, to, to get the real snake to speak up. Now, of course, if they get the snake, that's huge. You know, that's no problem. I understand that. The issue is, though, you know, the snakes are so, or excuse me, the wolves are so few. You know, comparatively speaking, with the with the rest of the villagers, they're so few in number that I thought, oh, man, sa you know, potentially sacrificing one of their own for this is that really worth it? Now, again, I'm no mafia uh, werewolf expert, so maybe that is, in fact, a, a good trade to make, one wolf for one snake. Um, so if that is the case, then there we go. Um, so, uh, but I, I do want to point out specifically, Lise made a very good point in that when the badger is created or when the person who is the badger becomes aware they're the badger, or however that works. And this is something we got from Haru in the, in the first route here. We learned that Haru, when she became the badger, did not know who the wolves were, and it took some time before she knew. 
And so she was attempting to aid the wolves, but she was doing that from a place of ignorance in that she did not know who she was helping. So Lise had a very good point in that it was only the second night uh, or after the second night when Mamia uh, decided to make the fake snake play. So basically the question is, you know, even if she was the badger and even if, you know, how in that amount of time did the wolves know she she was the badger and make use of her in that way? You know, there, there wouldn't have been enough time for there to be a communication for this sort of game plan. However, if mommy is a wolf, then suddenly there we go. They could have just planned it together from the outset. So I do have to say, yes, it 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 does um, it does. I can definitely see an argument for Mamia being a wolf. Now, of course, this is something I could check. For some reason, I'm hesitant to do that now. I don't know why. I, it's almost like I have this feeling in my head where it's something like I've made my bed, may as well sleep in it. You know. Um, we're gonna we're probably gonna have to <clears throat> go back and do it just to get the keys eventually so you know that's when that whenever that happens it'll happen but I kind of just want to you know get as far as I can before f getting forced to turn back um of course that leaves us with another huge question now my sort of tidy explanation of what happened in the uh previous episode or the episode before last the one where we discovered who died on what is it third or fourth night i'm, I'm getting lost now um the one where we discovered haru and mamiya dead um now that's even more confusing because why in the world did mamiya die of corruption and if if she is a wolf isn't that i mean in the Yomi route, the first main route we did, when humans died from corruption, that was a terrible loss for the human side. But having a wolf die to corruption, that just has to be catastrophic, right? I mean, that's that's incredibly bad to happen as the wolf side, right? So now it's even more of a mystery as to why Mamiya was dead in the way she was. Um, I don't even know how to begin thinking of that because as a wolf, she would have been allowed outside, right? So what did she do wrong that would have caused the corruption to target her if she was a wolf? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to think about that. The wolves got their one kill, Haru. But, uh, yeah. So basically to sum that all up, I'm open to the idea that, um, Mamia was a wolf, basically, is where I'm at right now. So thanks again for you guys, for you know you guys letting me know. Um, what else to talk about? Is there anything else to talk about? Um, oh well, if Mamia is the wolf, then that would mean my guess for the wolf team would be Mochi, Kauri, and Mamia. Then, um, if you know, revising it a bit. And if that's the case, my goodness, there that would mean only one wolf left, and that's just I mean if if that's the case, it starts to look like we're winning this thing, which is I it's 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 been so long. <laughs> it's hard to imagine what that'll look like, but you know, it is what it is. Um So anyway, I'm excited. I'm excited to see where this goes because we might be getting close to I mean how many main routes are there? I mean, in the in the main menu, I know there's a. It shows. I can't remember off the top of my head how many are, there are, but I know there's multiple endings. Um, so maybe we're getting close to one. I don't know. Um, yeah. So that's it. I think. Really loved Haruaki confronting Mochi. That was that was really fun. Um, Let's let's continue on because now we have to deal with the aftermath. Let's let's do that, shall we? Uh, am I recording? That's a good thing to find out, huh? Looks like it.
Okay, let's begin. Everyone stood there, frozen in place, while I headed for the plaza. I felt sick. Oi, Fuzzy. Let's see. Yep, okay. Takumi san caught up with me. Fuzzy. Oh, yeah, he was. しかし。ヘラヘラ笑ってるんだぞって。でも、それをしたら、どうなってたでしょうね、僕は。ずいぶん。気を揉ませちまったみたいだな。すまねえ。いえ。僕も休水の住人ですから。モッチーを殺した責任は最後までヘビとして放置することで果たします。頼む。It was good I'd gotten to Kumi-san on my side, but as a whole, it didn't feel like any of this had gone well. It left a really bad taste in my mouth. I mean, in a sense, if we think back to Yomi, the Yomi route again, the first major route we did, Mochi really was one of the only villagers to open up to us and, you know, kind of went to bat for us in a way. So, I mean, perfectly understandable that, you know, seeing him like this now is Conflicting feelings, definitely. I, I understand that. After that, I lost my job at the kitchen. Well, I hadn't exactly lost it, but since Kaori san had voted for me, I was uh, restraining myself. Yoshitsugu kun took over the work while I secluded myself in my hut. It was Takumi san who'd suggested it. He said it was best I watched out for any potential attacks now that it was out that I was a snake. He also took over testing for the food for poison. I remembered what he'd said. And and here's the crazy thing. If it's who I think it is, which it it's Kauri, the the amount of strain that that's gonna put on Takumi and Yasunaga and Yoshitsugu, it's that's gonna be terrible, you know, awful. But we gotta do it. I mean, this is, uh yeah. So, I told him I'd do everything I could. It felt like Takumi-san and I had grown rather close. And, no, not in the way that would make BL fangirls squeal with joy. I gratefully took my food, and was happy to get away from the melancholy atmosphere that lingered after Mochi's death. Takumi-san was right. Just one wolf was left. And from my point of view, I had four... No, five candidates left. One day may not have been enough to corner them. Did I have any ways to ensure I could end it tomorrow? No. This was a problem. For now, I'd investigate who I considered the most suspect. As long as the spider protected me, the rest would be a war of attrition. In that case, I had to aim to end it tomorrow. However, I never... Woke up after that night. Why? What happened to me? I didn't even know. I felt not even the slightest bit of pain or suffering in my deep slumber. 
but like the dense mist outside, my sleep appeared to have engulfed everything and became a shroud not of this world. Did the spider not protect me? In the end, the loser wasn't even allowed to entertain that thought. No. What? No! Bad end! But I... I thought... No. Are you kidding me? Why? Okay, fine. But I did it! I got Moochie! I got a wolf! Oh man! Okay, sheep. Lay it on me. Tell me what. Tell me what's up. ナゾウキバッドエンドだ。友あれ、解釈はきっちり示してやるぜ。今回のバッドエンド17。対してモッチー作ったら夜に謎死についてだが何が起きたかはぶっちゃけわからねえ。まだな。You mean we will find out eventually? 一つ言えるのは we weren't killed by a wolf? What? ここは一つ別の選択肢を選んでみてくれ。Maybe. Do I? Okay, I don't. Dara, go, Kichino. Pago no Taisho, iti, ka, onaji, go, Kichino. Pago no Taisho, ni, e. Key got so up to the Mara. の。ちの。ゆ。カゴのページは2に戻って正解をポンと選んでくれ。ここは正直、レイジングループでサイナンカンかもしれねえ。引っかかっても気にせず進んでくれると嬉しいぜ。うーん、オッケー。つうわけで
Wrote down one of their names, placed the paper next to my pillow, and went to sleep. I don't know what that says. I, I don't remember if it's the same thing as last time. What is it? Oh, wait, this is 12. This is not 11. Oopsie daisy. Um, I guess it's Keo then is 11. Uh, okay. I, I'm not sure how I was supposed to know that, but let's find out. Okay, why do I feel so nervous? Why Why is this doing this to me? Um, let's do it. Rip it off like a band-aid. Bam. She's a wolf. She's a wolf. She is a wolf. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Makes sense. Makes sense with the, uh, the communication time, basically. The... The argument that Lise gave. That makes sense. Uh, but I'm guessing Keo is 11, right? So. Oops. Let's just. Uh, let's get him as well. He's going to be human. Where am, I, where am I looking? Where am I? Chart. Okay, Kinosuke, let's get it. Ba bam, that's different. What does it mean? Truth of the Doctor. Show it to me. Let me see, let me understand. Human. Okay. As we suspected. I mean, for Kinosuke. For journalists, no, I just, I just, I had to have you guys tell me. <laughs> you guys had to inform me of my misunderstanding there. Okay. <clears throat> so what now? What now? Can't do anything different there. Can't do anything different there, of course. Uh huh. You know, I'm curious. I mean, this has to be a bad end, right? Immediately. Let's just do this. Let's see. Um, let's just get the bad end. Let's just finish this. Don't trust him. Let's just see this, because th th this is going to end immediately, right? I was rotten to the core. I was the type who balked at trusting others. Loved ones made the right decisions in times of hardship. Help would come when you were in danger, genuinely meaning the sweet nothings you whispered for life. If I asked people how they could be so sure about any of those, I'd be treated as cold-hearted for the most part. But trusting others meant taking risks, and the responsibility of those risks would fall on me, not the person I, I trust in. Of course, there were some situations where I had to take risks. Situations where I didn't know if I'd succeed or not, and got conflicting advice from others. I wanted to avoid situations like that, but if I had no choice, how would I choose whose opinion to go with? That was obvious, by viewing them with an objective level of trust, but by ignoring subjective impressions and basing it on past data and the advice with a valid ch and the advice with a valid chance of success. Yeah, success. Wasn't it crazier to trust others based on character or blood ties? Those who made choices based on how long they'd known someone or familial bonds could just do what they pleased. I'd be damned if I fell for those scams. I wouldn't trust them if they couldn't like, take responsibility for those risks on their own. No, I couldn't trust them. For the first time in my life, I felt that working against me. Takumi-san was probably a human. There was almost no chance he was a wolf. But... I could feel my distrustful nature scolding me for thinking I could trust him later, once I investigated him with the snake. There was a non-zero chance his anger was all an act, and he was just trying to intimidate me into confessing I was the snake. It was nearly zero, but not entirely. Swindlers and tricksters all took advantage of that risk to use others. If this were a malicious trap, the cost of the cost of this risk would be my death and defeat for the humans. Yeah,
In the end, I just repeated that. My inability to trust him was probably based on an abnormal level of caution. That or my distressful nature. Takumi-san released his grip on me, and I lost balance and fell to the floor. I groaned in pain as I hit my backside, looked up and saw... Soka. Takumi-san holding the hoe aloft. Nara mo ii. Shine. He swung it down. Maybe it was fortunate that this death had taught me a lesson. Distrust was not a perfect defense strategy, especially when faced with great physical danger. I learned that at the cost of my life. Though, maybe I could put that to good use next time. More importantly, perhaps it would be best to gain some proof ahead of time that I could trust him. Da-da-da. Ooh, we got an arm here this time. Bad ending number five. Hello, uh, hint corner sheep. Let's let's do this. Come on. It really wasn't. Forgetting to take a key. すでに木10を入手してれば問題なく選択肢は出てたはずだが。キーがないなら、これを入手できる場所はこれまでに2箇所ある。5、基地の加護の対象1か同じ5基地の加護の対象2へ行けばいいことあるぜ。てことで、今回はここまで。次も元気に死んでこい。Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're all caught up. We've we've done everything we can do, right? I don't think we've missed anything at this point. Back to chart, back to chart. Okay. Um Ambiguity. This is such a strange thing. Um, it reminds me of... I'm not... I can't explain it, obviously. It would be... It, it would be way too much to explain. And I won't even say which VN it is. There's a VN. If you know, you know. Okay? But there's, there's a VN where there's a mystery, right? And there's a certain part of that mystery where you're kind of you're unable to use like there's an answer and you can reason it out you can get to the answer okay i'm not saying i did <laughs> i i i'm fairly bad actually when it comes to certain mysteries but in retrospect you could come to the answer but the game kind of prevents you from using it and again i'm keeping this kind of vague and th this feels like a similar thing like like we got the answer it i got mochi i got him you know um and it felt good to get him and yet somehow we've been killed anyway now the sheep mr sheep man has seems to be hinting that we're going to get an explanation for that, and I want one, because I'm really curious about why that happened. Now, of course, we did get the confirmation on Mamiya. Um, she is the wolf, which, again, that, that makes sense now, just based on the timing of when everything was happening. 
But again, it just makes the uh, her corruption death all the more confusing. So let's go back here. Man, I, I, I felt that, that was so felt so good to do that, but I guess it wasn't to be. I had to think. Who's gonna fit? Yep. Okay. Let's go. So I guess the only thing we could do is talk is say that. What? Are we gonna say Takumi's human and Kinosuke's a human? Yeah, I guess that's the only other thing we can do. There is no way reveal nothing is the is the proper path, right? There's no way that can be the case. This one makes sense because it seems kind of out there, I guess. But th this has to also be a bad end. Which, you know, if it is, maybe we'll go back and see it later. But I guess we're doing this. How, how long have I been going, by the way? Okay, yeah, we're, we're doing this. But man, it feels so, it feels so bad that Mochi's still going to be out there. You know? Him and Kauri, I think. What in the world? Okay, let's do it. I'm very curious to hear how Rocky's thought process on this one. How, thought process on this one. Because he's not talking about Mochi. From the ones still alive, I could declare that Kiyonosuke no Satoshi was a human. With me, him, and Takumi-san, we would have three more confirmed humans... Completing the fixed majority Yasunaga had Kuna talked about. Okay, that makes sense as a strategy. I get that. That that makes sense. For that, I had to believe that Kauri Sun was the crow. I do not believe that, but you know we're it's we're just gonna have to deal with it for now. But that seemed reasonable to me. After a bit of hesitation, I made my decision. I had to hurry. The wolves must have been conflicted right now. They had to be considering whether they could start faking before I could sp before I spoke up. I had to declare it. Hi. My voice sounded stupid. I raised my hand. Everyone looked at me. I was even more tense than I imagined. However, now that I'd spoken up, my hesitation was gone. Boku. I made that as clear as possible. Nosato Kiyonosuke san, Soshite Muro Takumi san, Kono Futari o Kago ni yori shirabe, Soshite, O Futari tomo, Hito de shita. Their reaction was strangely calm. Da so da. Atari mai da ga, Ore mo jibun ga hito da te koto o mito meru. Watashi mo da. Sate. ブサイシ君はなぜこの瞬間まで黙っていたのかね。安永君が言った通り、多数派を形成するには6人の確定者が必要でしょう。本来あと1回、カゴを使う必要があった。だけど、母さんが急遽ほとんど確定の人として現れ
A split here could destroy the fixed majority. Timmy, Kino Itana. Tokibet's not Scaranante Ned. I knew he would go there. Ima Itayoni. Boku a Imamade. Jibun no Shota yo Akasena Katandes. Doste. Doste. Dakara. Timmy, she knew you are Ned. それも僕は申し上げたはずです今は死ねないと蛇の加護者としてやるべきことがあるからです嘘つきはくくるのが宴の鉄則じゃふふふ嘘は言ってないやっすんなんで嘘つきはダメなの人は嘘をつかないことを前提に狼を探す狼は必ず嘘をつくからさよう嘘を暴くことが即狼発見につながる状況を作るべきであってその足を引っ張る嘘つきの人は有害であるだから僕は加護者じゃないとは言わずに特別な力はないと言ったんですが事実超能力なんてありませんからね Trying to wiggle yourself out of this one, and yeah. Eh, Bokumo Moi Mastayo. Motte Mawata e Katade, Nanika, Stayta in the Ronate. It's not me with the powers, it's the Guardian. Sinjirare, Somo Somo, Yosomonde, Sujo Moshire, Usomo Tsuitota. Yatsua, Oreto Kio no Koto, Hitoda to Mitometa. He wasn't wrong there. If I was a wolf and got comfortable in the human side like I was trying to do now, the humans would be good as dead. After all, I can investigate the other wolf and just say that they were human, adding them to the confirmed human count. If I did that, in a few days, we'd get a situation where all the suspicious people were gone, while the feast was still going on. This was a waste of time difficult to recover from. In a sense, the fate of the humans depended on whether they believed me or not. It was a huge gamble for them. But why? Why wasn't any wolf taking this chance? Maxima no Gorozin wa Karega Okamide. What does the Muro da singi ikinokoro to Kangai de Ruto? So they were Hite de Kinaiga. Interesting, interesting. She was overestimating, overestimating me, but at this moment I appreciated it. Bokumo des. Liuwa, Fusaishi san ga boku to hobo onaji likutsu de utage o bunseki shi. I appreciated that. He made me want to buy him a drink once he was old enough. Oremo, うたげが終わらねえって事態を恐れてんだろ。うん。そうなったらもちろん残った連中は不採取をくくるよな。こいつは予想もんだ。休みずに対する恩義で死のうなんて考えちゃいねえ。だからこそ死ぬような嘘は
I couldn't lie or gather more antagonism than I already had. <sighs> to my surprise, Kanzo-san chuckled. It sounded like a mocking laugh, though. Does that mean that he now accepted I was just a cowardly outsider? If that were the case, he probably wouldn't lend an ear to any of my proposals. After all, I wouldn't give my life for Yasumisu. The two shook their heads. No, I would rather we not do this. ただ Okay. This is different from what we thought. And by what we thought, I mean what Haruaki thought. Uh-huh. What does this mean? Because now she's got conflicting stories. Hmm. So that was her play. But Rokako-san, that was... あなた様です。Really? It makes some sense, yes. But hmm. That made sense. ありそうじゃねえか。I thought the idea was keep him alive, but, you know, um, cause strife between him and Yasunaga to, you know, mess with the leadership. But if this is true... Hmm...僕Takumi-san was choosing his words carefully. We couldn't shoot down all of Kanzo-san's suggestions. If he became too emotional, he could destroy our fixed majority. However, I was more or less certain that Rokako-san was a human. I'd made a theory that she was using Mako, and just now she named herself as the spider rather than the snake. For me, all those things made sense. So... I know, I know! What happened next was completely unexpected. No... No, 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 no.
No. No, no, no. No. No, I... It was all going so well. Everything was... Everything was going so well. We got Mochi. We got... Mamiya. We got... Ugh. So is Haruaki wrong? In his thoughts? No. I mean, my first instinct is to want to say, call BS on that, but... <sighs> so what, could it be... I'm just, I'm just scrambling to try and find a way. What if it's... Kaori really is the crow, and it's Mochi Mamiya, an old guy. Maybe something like that. Uh... We'd always thought that the old wolf guy and Mako wouldn't take part in the feast. Boy, were we wrong. After all, their only contrib contributions were their votes, and it was hard to tell what they'd based their votes on. They were just two swing votes who were otherwise harmless and at best and best left ignored. It wasn't that simple, though. Unlike last time, when we had exceptions like me, everyone here was participating in the feast the way they were supposed to. That was why everyone could have a guardian of some sort, even if they were too childish or senile to make good use of it. I'd been actually afraid that they would get, and then waste, their guardians. I didn't expect him to come out of as a second spider, though. Why him, of all people? And why the spider? Jiji, Kumoja. Kumoja. わたくしは雲です。ご老人は嘘をおっしゃっています。嘘つきは終わりじゃろうが。失礼だがご老人。ここまで地方老人かと判じていたが、状況は理解しておられるのかね。ほう。<笑> おやさん。以前の宴でも狼じじいはこんな感じだったのか。昔からこいつはこんなよ。宴の時もやくたたつで。もち、狼じじいと仲良かったろ。彼のことどう思う。オッケー。This じっちゃん、元気元気だって。やれやれだ。おい、じじい。初日と二日目、誰を守ったおお。いいか。俺らは命がかかってる。もしてめえが分かってんのにふざけてるんだったら。守ったのは。he ended the question by raising his finger and pointing at Yasunaga-kun. Book. Hehehe.一日目と二日目どっちだよ。お？もしかして、どっちも？ He responded with a smile. 
Once again, that idea is、uh, in line with targeting villager leadership. <laughs> Great, thanks. Very helpful. That、uh, definitely wasn't a good standard for deciding who to protect from death. What was this about, anyway? Wait, could it be? Mujina. Dosta, Saishi. Maini, ye must have known. Mujina ga irun janai cut the Hanashi. Are you saying old man's a badger or what? Shinai Modeto, Shinai Jinjan, Mujina ga irukara the Atsiska. Shikashi, Maina na den shokara, Okami ni omoneta hitoda to made ketron zkeruno, Muriga naikane. ええまあ、ムジナという役割があるかどうかはとりあえず別でいいです。はっきりしているのは、リカコさんとオオカミジジイ氏の少なくとも片方が嘘をついているということですね。ああ、なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。That whole thing, and then suddenly she gets badgerified. I, I don't want that to happen. Aww.、Mm. No arguments against that. Honestly, I thought they were both lying, but I more or less knew what Rokako san was going for. She was probably ordering and controlling Mako, the real spider. Effectively making her the one who protected people. Yeah, that's what we thought. At least, that's, that's the assumption that we get from Haruaki's reasoning. It's that she's the one who tells Mako. So, yes, effect, yes, yes. Just, just as he says, that's, that's what it would be. That was why the info she gave about how she used the power was correct. In a way, she was the spider's representative. The advantage of this method was that even if she died, the real spider would survive. Of course, Mako wouldn't have someone helping her make decisions if Rokako san died, limiting the Guardian's effectiveness. But even so, if the spider th the wolves thought was dead was actually alive, it could turn the tides in the endgame. The spider was best kept hidden at all costs, but Rokako san revealed it so it would draw the votes toward her. She used it for her own plan. I didn't know how accurate my assumption was, but it did seem like an effective course of action. Though, she probably didn't expect a sudden fake. It was day three, and the fixed majority plan was becoming reality, yet no wolves came out as either snakes or crows. We all knew the dangers of the wolves taking the snake's role, while taking the crow would help them hide the amount of wolves still alive, giving them a path to victory. However, There was next to no point in pretending to be the spider. Even if you claimed to be the spider and said you would protect someone, then even if no one died, you could still be suspected of being a wolf fixing the game. However, there was an exception. It was effective in helping the wolves know who the badger was. It was probably true that Kanzo san was the target on the first day, but was stopped by Mako, who was ordered by Rokako san. That was why the wolves, who knew that what they were aiming for that day, had recognized Rokako san as the real deal. They also understood that the old wolf guy was lying. That meant that, from the wolves' perspective, he was a human who just told a lie. It was too obvious. The wolves knew about the badger. The wolves and their ally needed to be proactive about lying. The old wolf guy defied that rule, letting the wolves know who he was. With the Sakomamiya's death, they had lost a vote, but with this, they now had three again. Also, Kanzo san was considering his opponent, Rokako san, as the next candidate for hanging. 
in this situation, we had to make good use of the six confirmed humans and hang the lying spider. The easiest choice was to trust Kanzo-san's decision and vote for Rokako-san. By gathering Wolf, Badger, and the confirmed human votes, Rokako-san would be sent to the tree. It was a chance for the wolves to kill the spider and make them think that the humans had killed a wolf. This was really effective for them and extremely dangerous for us. Even if the real spider, Mako, survived, it would be really difficult for me to talk about the badger and explain that Rokako-san was a fake spider on their side. Yeah, I had to convince the human side that they should vote to hang the wolf guy instead. Was that really right, though? I had to think carefully. I only came to understand Rokako-san's intentions because she told me to vote for her in a peculiar situation. I was assuming that she was in the wolf guy who had some ulterior motives, but was that really right? Was the old guy even capable of that? He played with a pretty useless guardian. Maybe he'd only come out because he found it strange that another spider had named themselves. In fact, that was the most natural reaction, especially in the other's eyes. The same went for Rokako-san. From what I saw of her, she was more legend and harmony than intelligence. What if she was actually thinking by protecting Mako, she'd be considered a good guy and avoid gathering votes? What if her affection for me was all part of that plan too? Crap. This was obviously the more reasonable line of thinking. Also, Rokako-san could have been lying to let the wolves know something. Anyway. We had a relatively sane young woman going up against a completely senile man. No matter how you looked at it... Oh. oh boy, Haraki is... He's, he's starting to get lost in a maze of thought. That's... That's... That's a tough one. Um... Choice was obvious. じゃあ、どうして今になっていった She fell silent. I couldn't tell whether it was a silence to protect Mako, or just an awkward silence because he pointed out a hearth tru harsh truth. ちまったろうが。お前らはどうだ。私は安永の評に任せましょう。その方が皆さんにとっては信じやすいでしょう。そうだな。それはいい。キヨ、お前は。リカコさん。あなたは雲の籠さで本当に間違いないのですなはい。野里さん。間違いございません。うーん。なんかどっちも遅くさいな。てめえかもしだ。適当なこと言ってねえで。わからねえなら黙ってやがれ。おんねえち
Um, so I get to I get to think about this, and you get to think about this. We both get to think about this. Don't we? Don't we all get to think about this? We do. Oh. Uh, oh, it was all going so well. It was all going so well. Mm, okay. I guess we'll leave it off at this. <sighs> okay. All right, everyone. Let's all do as Haraki did. Let's all get lost in a maze of thought and see if we can get somewhere with this. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll regroup. We'll regroup and we'll have a good old talk about this. All right. Okay. I've been the warm. This has been Raging Loop. The loop's still raging. That's for dang sure. Hope to see you next time, all right? Have a good one.